Locked up at this hour, the sheriff's office says she caught, shot and killed her ex-boyfriend last night at this Motel 6. A murder case that started as a romantic date. That's the horrible story of this American couple, and it gets even more terrifying if you know what the man actually did on his date because that makes the story even kind of horrible. In Greenville, SC, a tragic story unfolded involving 22-year-old David Edens and 25-year-old Kadisha Bryson. David, a father of two and an aspiring rapper, had a tumultuous history with Kadisha, who was a mother of four, including a daughter they shared. Despite their breakup, they tried to co-parent, but their relationship was riddled with a frequent arguments, hurtful words, and provocation. One stressing day, their conflict escalated to a fatal outcome. David had even captured one of their heated exchanges on video and shared it on social media. This case sheds light on the importance of healthy communication and cooperation in co-parenting situations to prevent such tragic consequences. In this video, it's evident that Kadisha and David engage in mutual taunting, with Kadisha often making verbal threats towards David. He responds by laughing and finding the situation amusing. The exchange includes phrases like, you smoke blast now losing yourself, you're a clown, and look at it. Kadisha's actions are observed as she playfully talks to herself and the video captures her behavior. At one point, David expresses concern for her antics. The situation takes a more serious turn when Kadisha suggests they visit the NHS, and her playful demeanor continues. David's remarks on her behavior as the situation escalates. Kadisha's actions become more intense, with her chasing David circling the block and creating a sense of danger. David's distress is evident as he pleads for help. The video captures the escalating tension, conveying how Kadisha's behavior becomes more unpredictable and alarming. The situation elicits a mix of fear and disbelief from David as he grapples with the intensity of Kadisha's actions. Tragically, the toxic relationship took a deadly turn. On the evening of November 19, 2019, around 10.35 p.m., authorities responded to a potential burglary report at Motel 6 on Wade Hampton BLVD. Upon arrival, they found the lifeless body of David Edens Jr. in one room, having sustained a gunshot wound. Detectives immediately began their investigation and interviewed witnesses, including a motel guest who had seen the distressing incident unfold. The witness recounted seeing a woman intensely searching for someone and resorting to breaking windows in various rooms until she located her target. She then summoned the person outside with fervent shouts. Once he emerged, the witness tragically saw her shoot him. The man was later identified as David Edens and the woman as Kadisha Bryson. The witness, who was also staying at the motel, remembered David as friendly, and the whole incident deeply disturbed her. When David's family found out about his tragic death, it was a devastating blow. What made it even more shocking for them was the realization that Kadisha, someone they had embraced as part of their family due to her relationship with David and the child they shared, was the one responsible. David's cousin expressed their disbelief, mentioning how Kadisha had been accepted into their family, treated no differently, and even had a child with David. The family never anticipated that she would be the one to end his life. David's final Facebook post just a few hours before his fatal shooting revealed his decision to prioritize being single over being in a toxic relationship. He was resolute about staying single to avoid such harmful dynamics. It seems that David recognized the need to take healthier choices in his future relationships. Kadisha Bryson turned herself into law enforcement and admitted to shooting her child's father, claiming it was accidental. During a bond hearing held the day after David Edens Jr. was fatally shot in the Greenville Motel where he resided, Kadisha Leona Bryson was given the opportunity to speak to the courtroom. Tearfully, she addressed David's loved ones by their names and sincerely apologized. Apologies were also expressed with phrases like, okay, I'm sorry, okay, well, I'm sorry, and I'm sorry. The remorseful tone continued with expressions of love and regret, such as, I love you, I'm sorry, that wasn't my intention, and the gun went off. Kadisha Bryson also emphasized that she never intended to harm David, acknowledging him as a great dad. The emotional atmosphere was evident with repeated apologies and acknowledgments like, I'm sorry, Mayor, and all right, all right, all right. 
Following her surrender to law enforcement, Greenville County deputies charged 25-year-old Bryson with the murder and possession of a weapon during a violent crime in connection with the death of 22-year-old Edens. However, Judge Latoya T. Barksdale denied Bond during the hearing. The small courtroom at the Greenville County Detention Center was filled with family members, with some even standing at the back due to the crowd. During the proceedings, when given the chance to speak to Kadisha Bryson, Judge Barksdale allowed Baldwin, who was still reeling from her cousin's untimely death, to voice a question to the woman accused of his murder. In a state of shock, Baldwin asked, We just want to know why. He left his kids, he left his family, and this is around the holidays. He's a good father and a good family person, and an outgoing person. The question is just why. After the hearing, Baldwin further mentioned that David Eden's passing has left two children without a father, one of whom is a one-year-old girl she shared with Bryson. During the Bond hearing, Kadisha expressed deep regret for David's killing, tearfully apologizing directly to his family. She stated that her intention was never to harm him and that the gun had accidentally discharged. However, David's family did not accept her apology. Kadisha Bryson is currently in custody at the Greenville County Detention Center, accused of killing her husband Charles' father. Sadly, the family is now preparing for a funeral instead of their planned holiday celebrations. With the holidays approaching, David's absence leaves a void that his family feels deeply. His children are left without their father as he left behind his family and kids. Despite their past relationships, Kadisha and David are no longer together and their child will spend the holidays with other family members. In this challenging time, David's family is focusing on providing support for his children as they face a future without their caring father. David Eden Sr. now grapples with the reality that his son is no longer alive. His son left behind two sons and a daughter. David Eden Sr. reflects on their past relationship, noting that his son and Kadisha used to be a couple and share a daughter. He emphasizes that his son was a dedicated and caring father, and he regards him as a good person. Despite desiring justice, David Eden Sr. acknowledges that the situation is tragic for everyone involved. He expresses empathy for Kadisha, recognizing that she also has her own responsibilities, including those of other children. The unfortunate circumstances have left a void particularly for their child, and the gravity of the loss is felt by all parties. In a nutshell, David Edens found himself entangled in a toxic co-parenting relationship with the mother of his child. One of the most perilous facets of such toxic dynamics is the potential transformation of threats into fatal actions. These threats, whether physical or emotional, possess the ability to rapidly escalate, underscoring the importance of taking them seriously. It's wiser to prioritize safety over assumptions that threats won't materialize. When co-parenting with an abusive individual, safeguarding yourself and your children becomes absolutely paramount. Exploring options like securing a court order for supervised visitation or seeking assistance from a family law expert or mediator for a secure co-parenting arrangement is advisable. The tragedy that unfolded in David Eden's case serves as a poignant example. But each his actions on that fateful day ripped through many lives. The result, David's two children are left fatherless due to a needless act of violence, while Kadisha's four kids must navigate their life without their father and mother. The legal proceedings concerning this case are still ongoing. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.